I got this covered. Right, you're an issue. Let me just take off one of your arms if I can, please. Did I completely miss? Oh my lord. Well, the garbage, I'm gonna be honest with you. Should have run over there, really. A uh, grenade launcher here would be fine, though. And I can do this twice again, if I really want to. This might work. It better work. Beautiful. Your bleed... How are you bleeding? But what? Your hit points are 120, 120? Oh. Right, okay. Fair enough. Uh, but I think I disabled your arms. No, neither arm is disabled. That's a shame. Uh, you're bleeding, but it's not going to kill you. Now, in terms of just walking in there and attacking, you're not going to get there. So, how about we instead go over here and you attack from behind. Uh, they have got carapace there, but... Good. Dazed. And you've still got a point, so it's also stun. Uh, right. Heading I up. could attack relatively well from this position. They they are stunned, so I don't expect them to do anything. I can probably end you. Or at least stun you. No. No, and the shield still stands. I need to bear that in mind in the future. Okay. I'm going to use this, but on the next turn, hopefully I will uh, be able to restore your will points. Can I do this? I'm fairly certain you can, yeah. Well, that pincer is gone. They're no longer a threat, effectively. Basically, field execution. Uh, let's just walk straight past them. They're no longer an issue for me. You, however, are very much like to remove your regeneration ability. Oh, yeah. Right, you're 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 dead at this point. Now I could run all the way over here and activate you. I might be able to do that in two turns. It's actually a big big ask at this point. Uh, I need to get in there and prevent these things from being destroyed. Pushing on. Yeah, you're bleeding out on the next turn. Try and get over to them. Not going to end up using my turn, sadly, but it's fine. Uh, no, I've got a bunch of people who can switch to their pistols. Nope, still. Standing by. And you can also switch your pistol. Only you're gonna watch in this direction. Attempting overwatch. I wonder what would happen if they moved within my range on their turn. Oh, hello. Didn't see you in there. Uh, if you could, please. How much will points have you got left? Got five will points left. I'm a little bit surprised that you, there's any will points left. Uh, 
I can't get a sight. On the move. That may be enough. Let's see. Now, the beautiful thing in this game is that your turn isn't over just from moving. So there's every possibility. You can just scoot forward each tile just to see which one is going to give you the best firing solution. And these are the only things I need to protect, ultimately. to shoot like this oh. that may be it yep it is perfect all right quite a lot of points there Fast way to progress your research is to steal it from other factions with a steel research mission at a haven with a research center well I mean yes that that is true. And uh, the way things are going, that might be how we have to get any research <laughs> from from uh, Tobias, sadly. Uh, we got a Synedrian Neural Pistol. Oh, that's fantastic. That will be enough for us. Why did they have a Synedrian Neural Pistol, though? Uh, but that will be... Oh, it was probably on one of the... Um, one of the Pandorans. That's going to be enough for us to research it. Analysis of the Pandora movement patterns have failed to identify their origin. The exact location of the Pandoran colony responsible for the attack remains an unknown. That is a shame. It's clearly somewhere in there, but... I would like to add in the reverse engineering on the neural pistol. 19 hours on containment. Once that is done, we can start bringing in live Pandorans and researching them. Seven hours on the reverse engineering of the Hephaestus. Six hours on finishing building the Scarab. So we've actually got quite a lot of things going on. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, go to... Phoenix Point, for now. Uh, I do need to go in and have a look at that. Personnel. Is it equipped? Yeah, it comes equipped automatically. We need a name! It can't be PX Scarab. Alright, let's see. Uh... Okay, Balal is probably already gone, but in his honor. Hashtag Leafy Poo in chat right now if you want a chance to have the Scarab named after you. Leafy, I'm sorry. It's just, you've got bad friends. <laughs> you piece of... <laughs> An oldie but a goodie, yeah. I don't make the rules. If if uh, Leafy Poo is requested enough times in one stream, it has to happen eventually. So when is Leafy going to snap and become the big bad evil guy? Oh, I'm fairly certain he's already uh, he's already snapped. Uh, I'm I'm pretty certain every single time Noin suggests Leafy Poo, Leafy adds an extra enemy to the next encounter that Noin faces in Leafy's D and D campaign. All right, we're going to roll. Boom! It's Wide Hammer. That's actually not a bad name for a Scarab, in my opinion. Uh, okay, that's not what I was trying to copy, but sure. What? Uh, okay. There we are. What happened? I did kill Noin three sessions ago. Ah, uh, good times. Then the druid revivified. 
Sad times. Well, you know, you gave him the takeaway. It's just the way it is. Okay. They can easily afford to recover some stamina. I really want to know what's going on over there, though. <sighs> is this going to be like a terror mission that I can go and help them with? I really hope so. I hope so, and I'm also afraid. Please Equal measure. Oh, there we are. Synedrian laser pistol. Let's go and have a quick look at the pistols. This will still be a... Uh, can I disable them? I only want to see these ones. There. So my reg, the Cypher handgun is damage 50. Effective range is 27. Damage 50, effective range 27. Ammo capacity 22, ammo capacity 8. So realistically, the the key there is it's a lot of ammo in one of these, but six tech for each ammo clip. Whereas this costs no tech and just a couple of supplies, and that is something I get a lot more of. So I'm not sure about that one actually. It's good to know. It's good to be able to make them myself, but uh, I'm not not actually sold. Ooh, repair kit repairs 40 hit points, augmented body parts only. That. It's probably something for me to grab. Dear God, they are expensive, though. I should have read that first. I did not. I regret. Oh. You need one of those more than the other thing you had, so... You don't have the cipher selected the first look. What if I click on it first? Does it just show the comparison? Now this is the manufacturer screen. I don't have an Hephaestus to compare to in the uh, in the other screen, unfortunately. Right, the behemoth is stronger than we feared. It is capable of raising havens. Oh, right. So there's, there isn't any kind of. Oh, that definitely reminds me of the creature at the end of the mist. Uh, the ground and its travel pattern indicates sinister intelligence. Observing its behavior leads us to believe the targets for its next destructive rampage are the two nearby havens. Uh... Okay. Disruption points. One of three. The behemoth is roaming the land. Mm. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do about that, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it's bad times. Alright, first and foremost, let's move over here. Hi. I would like to trade. Uh, I would like to trade... Oh, I can't do that. That's sad. Okay. Um, what do you trade for? And uh, you. There we go. Uh, I can trade materials for tech parts. Materials for tech parts. Food for tech parts. That's what we need. Okay, let's get over there then. Myrmidon autopsy. Summary, Myrmidons are relatively simple organisms, but their group tactics and strategic use of terrain suggest they are guided by some sort of hive mind intelligence. Remarkable feature of their bodies are their light wings, capable of performing short distance flights, making them the perfect reconnaissance trooper for the Pandorans. Their nimble legs provide stability and very fast walking speed. Closer inspection of their internal organs shows close resemblance with various Pandoran worm species. Genetic origins, 12% uh, Ochphilia, 11% Brachyuria, Bacura, I, I'm terrible at pronouncing that. 12% so uh, Analidae, and 65% unknown. Function, this small Pandora mutation seems to excel in supporting raids by flanking targets and securing strategic zones. Offensive mutations capable of releasing dangerous gas explosions. Defensive mutations, these creatures move in large numbers, but attack in groups of few, strategically reinforcing certain areas. Mobility, very nimble and capable of short distance flight. Weakness. Vulnerable to gunfire. 
That's a common weakness, I find. Oh, so they just broke the thing. Okay. So they, they simply destroy it. Right. Duly noted, I guess. I would like to trade... Uh, for this. And actually also for this. Thank you. I'm going to have to hold off on the trades for now, though. I think I need to do some more scavenging, finding some odds and sods around the place. And uh, maybe I should get over here and find out what the heck is going on there. Uh, there is a new site down there, though. Interesting. Is it under the Pandoran cover? Hmm. Is the lot of this game kind of like the movie Avatar? Uh, not really, that I'm aware of. Um... However, we're, we're actually going to take a vehicle out with us. Uh, production of the Pythagoras is complete. It's got 15 shots on that. I think one of these will probably last us the whole game, but uh, we'll see. I could now get a new class over here, and there is a temptation in me to do so. But it's still just assaults or heavies. Hey, uh, assault sniper? We could do an assault sniper. Yeah, I think we're going to do an assault sniper. Uh, reloading and inventory actions would be free, which would be nice. Return fire would be dangerous if they attack me with this and I return fire with this. But dash is what I really want to go for. Being able to move around the, the battlefield faster is a big, big plus. Uh, oh, actually, I need to uh, give it a better color. Eight, two, and five. No. Eight, two, and five. Fancy! Gold or silver? No. Okay. Who am I going to leave behind? Because this needs two. I'm thinking Anubis. Still got that. You're at Phoenix Point, and... We would have two snipers, two heavies, two assaults, and a robot. <laughs> If we dropped off Swift Squirrel. Yeah, Swift Squirrel, you're going to hang tight for now. We are bringing... Mm, White Hammer or Bremble, chat? Yeah. 
He wanted to make a sniper into a heavy sniper to see if the jump is worth it. It totally is. Bramble is wider than White Hammer. Bramble is chunk, yes. Bramble takes three. Oh, right, okay. Oh, do they all take three? Oh, balls. Such a pain. I really want to be able to take them with me. I want to justify them. But I think it might just be something that we need to wait on getting a bigger ship for. And that frustrates me. But, oh well. It is what it is. I mean, this, the stupid thing is, these things have internal space. Each one of these can hold four people. Why don't I just load four people into one and then put it into the ship? It frustrates me. Uh Gallywag games. Gallywag. Alright. Let's get out there and start having a look around. Um containment facility done in four hours. Oh. Our researchers have tirelessly have been tirelessly analysing intelligence reports, footage and witness testimonials to learn everything they can about the behemoth, the newly discovered flying species, and the festering skies. The Pandorans seem to be organised by a higher form of intelligence, and their flight patterns are far from random. Careful observation of air movements reveals the Pandorans complete very specific objectives as a reconnaissance raid, as reconnaissance raids and in many cases infestation of human settlement. Our course of action is clear. Arm a squadron of manticores and systematically attack the Pandoran patrols to prevent their rampage. While we intercept their attacks, a dedicated researcher unit will be working around the clock to study the Pandoran's behaviour further and make ongoing improvements to our air-to-air -air arsenal. Okay. We can now make the afterburner, the Nomad anti-air missile and the uh, Phoenix heavy cannon. Players, we can employ some of our knowledge of Pandoran biochemistry to significantly upgrade our flare fuel. This upgrade will protect all Phoenix operatives, even if a manticore is shot down from the sky. Ooh, that sounds like an important one. I am really, really frustrated. I spent a lot of money making that thing. And it just wasn't worth it. Continue on our way. Construction complete. Containment complete. Tata Crater is ready to receive guests. Our operatives have sat down beside an old house, miles away from any other buildings. The whole place looks pristine. The lawn has been mown, the hedge is trimmed, the fence is painted a bright white. But there is no answer to our calls. Our operatives break down the door of the home to find a family sitting in wooden chairs in the dining room. They are all dead. It looks like they expired only hours before our people got here. There's not a mark on any of them. There is an enormous larder with food we can use, but that's it. Oh, okay, that's kind of weird. Spoopy. Got seven days on overrun. Acquire more aircraft, yay, telling me. In order to improve the reach and effectiveness of the Phoenix organization, you will need more aircraft. An aircraft with a small squad or vehicle can be used to explore. Having two or more full combat squads in different continents will improve your ability to take on missions. You have two ways to get more aircraft. You can build an aircraft, which is slow, so this is best done when you have three or more fabrication plants across your bases and plenty of resources. Yeah, they're in the thousands, we are far from that. 
The quickest way to get another aircraft is to steal it. You have a squad at the same location as another faction's aircraft, then you can select the steal aircraft mission from the site menu or the Haven info screen. This will antagonize the faction owning the aircraft, though, as one might expect. <sighs> Maybe. Okay. Family all died with no visible marks. I don't think eating what they were eating is a good idea. No, I agree. Okay, Karen, species classification PF1. This newly discovered mutation of the Pandora virus was first spotted after the hatching of the behemoth. It is likely bred inside the festering skies. It shows signs of great intelligence, probably remotely guided by some sort of hive mind. Karen specimens are highly aggressive and are known to attack both airborne and stationary human targets. Threat level, high. Mubadon egg. Field reports indicate the shell of this creature is harder to penetrate and even dissolved using acid. The egg is reactive to approaching humans and machines, and when threatened, shows ability to quickly release the Myrmidon hibernating inside. Can I get a detailed analysis of that one? No, sadly. Oh well. Myrmidon, the Myrmidon creature are known to take advantage of their large numbers and winged bodies to secure strategic locations and serve as armed reconnaissance troops for the Pandorans. Uh, there's a prime version of it. A mutation of the Ac Acheron, capable of corrupting soldiers on touch, as well as releasing a regenerative substance in large areas that restores Pandoran armor. Uh, their armor? Oh, I disapprove. Pepper Cloud, restore Pandoran armor. Add 10 armor to all Pandorans within 10 tiles. Dear Lord. Archon Aklis, an enhanced species of Archon, uh, Acheron, sorry, that has evolved to release chemicals capable of partially paralyzing humans by temporarily reducing their speed or disabling a limb. Field observations have found that the creature is also capable of granting Pandorans the ability to inflict corruption on people, and also can mutate dead corpses, transforming them into Arthrons and Tritons to be dealt with, uh, to be dealt with caution. Yeah, damn right. To be dealt with caution. Super target body part for one turn. Corruptive cloud. Resurrect corpses. Transforms all human sized corpses within 10 tiles into Arthon. All of them. Not just one. All of them. <sighs> yeah, time for the bolters. I think that is fair. Disciples of Amu Haven is under attack. Okay, we are going there immediately. Move. Go, 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 go. 10 tracking strength, 3 defending strength. They're not going to be happy that I help them, but I don't care. Corrupted area, Pandorians. Uh, sorry, Pandorans intervene to eliminate the threat, protecting as many civilians as possible. There's a lot on the line here. I am absolutely okay with that. Right, let's go. That being said, do we have any materials I need to equip? I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's go through, though, just to be doubly sure. Now, this might be an opportunity for me to stun some enemies and bring some live captures back. They are all going to get a little bit um, corrupt, though, which is a shame. Um... Ten percent bonus damage dealt, minus ten percent accuracy. I would rather not have that. That one is just good though, because the plus ten percent uh, accuracy and plus ten tiles hearing range. When I'm equipping a handgun, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's confirm that. All right, it doesn't say accuracy there. I am going to need to give you a handgun now. I don't have a handgun. Oh, that's garbage. Oh, 
However, any heavies are going to be fielded. I can change your equipment whenever I want, so that's the main thing there. Uh, you're never going to be getting too close, or at least you shouldn't. You, likewise, you can switch your inventory whenever you want, so that's fine. Um... We're just going to increase your willpower, honestly. I would like it for you to be able to reload and do any inventory work without too much issue. Also, being able to use that would be marvellous. So now I can give you this as a backup. So you can snipe now or use your bulldog, depending on the situation that you find yourself in. I feel that's particularly useful. I could give you a... I could make a bulldog for you, actually. Huh. That might legitimately be a good use of your points, but for now I'm just going to give you loads of willpower. I would like to give you assault, because you being able to dash in and then wallop people with a mate, with a mallet is very appealing. You're a little bit over-encumbered. Yes, we can't afford you to have that. Need to get you more strength. Well then, who can I have with these? These are... what are the weights on them? It's a melee weapon, so only my heavies have training for that. And you. You can't afford to carry it. You can't either, sadly. Which is actually quite annoying, but I think I should be able to do that. We'll always go for an augment as well, I guess. Not this, because it would get rid of your jetpack, but I could totally give you armadillo legs. And maybe a clarity head. Ah... Uh... The clarity heads just seem to make sense to me. But I don't really want to take your brain out and stick it in a metal case. That is a tricky one. I could go for this augment, though. Drop my stealth, increase my accuracy, give me a bit of extra armor, and make you immune to mind control. But I, I, I don't. I feel like I'm just looking for a way to use up points with that, so I'm going to avoid it. But let's just get it in there. Yeah, the plus 10 hearing will be very nice, though. Uh, why are they upset that I'm intervening? Because they don't like them. They would kind of like them to die, basically. Now, where could I get my units off the map? Is there anywhere I can get them off the map? No, I just need to kill all the baddies then. Fair enough. I can make a difference. Yes, you can. 
especially if you make it from up here. Check this out. Arthron, what have you got equipped? Nothing. And you have got a pistol. Alright, I've got two civilians. I actually didn't spot how many civilians were here. Chat, if you are able to let me know that, I would be deeply in your debt. I would actually ve oh there is definitely someone over here I really want to get in close and uh, do some stuns if pos well there is a shockingly high chance that from here I would not be able to shoot, from here I would. Uh, what I was going to say is I feel there is a shockingly high chance that we are going to lose some of the peeps in this one. Now this is where dash really comes in because I've got such high speed. I can move effectively two APs worth of distance which would still let me use my sniper weapon take out your leg take out your spitter head taking out the spitter head would be very useful but as I would like to get upstairs and get that civilian under my control so I can keep them safe I'm going to use this we are then going to go for the sniper shot. Wiring target. Shot went wide. Really? The new sniper weapon I just gave you, and you flubbed the shot? You suck. Target missed. Is that thing... Mm. Much sadness. Heading out. Okay, just eliminate them. They're dazed. They're bleeding. They're not going to be doing too much on their turn, which is fine by me. However, I really do need to get over here and to save this civilian. spot did I see another civilian or what just happened there chat There's someone in there with them. Where? Okay, you're a bit of a problem. I can no longer use this, so just get out of the way for now. Okay, there's a couple of them over here. I was worried about that. But you're incredibly tanky, so I'm kind of hopeful that you'll be able to handle it. I'm on the move. There's definitely someone in there, yeah. 
Thought as much might be the case. Hello? Right there. Hello? Really? I gr I'm greatly, greatly unhappy about this. Move closer. Oh, you are actually a civilian. Oh, hello. And there may be another one above you. That is also another... Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. They are actually in a fairly good place, though the Pandorans will know exactly where they are. So that isn't as great. But this isn't terrible. You are now under my control as well. And from here, let's go. Start moving forward. I do worry about this area, though. Here I am. Let's do this. Shoot over your shoulder. Uh, I might be able to connect a shot. Just suppressing. <laughs> Just suppressing. Of course you were, buddy. Of course, yeah. You didn't miss. Well, let me see. I swear, the fact that you were able to do more damage with your pistol than most of my snipers were able to do, I just don't even... Don't even remotely. Sniper there, uh, but you do not have a weapon drawn. I used a bunch of points, but it was worth me checking, in my opinion. Okay, that is a... Alright! Nice! They've got a priest as well. That is good. That is very good. That is less good. simply a marksman. That armor is just Lee's ankle weights. <laughs> I love that idea. I approve. Right, redeem yourself. There we go. Redemption. No, no, no. Badness and sadness. Need to get in there and help. Who are you shooting at? Ouch. That was rude. I think we're going to lose a civilian. I think that'll be the first civilian loss, actually. If I can heal them, I'll try, but they don't have a med pack. They've got a repair kit. So unless that's a cyber civilian, it's not going to help. Be great if they were. I'm, you know, I'm all four cyber civilians, but I think it's less likely. Nevertheless, um... Let's get in here. Oh God, there's so many of them in here. 
I do want to take a prisoner here as well, which is annoying. Um, I don't know what your strength is. But I'm going to go for the Triton. Oh, that was a bad... Oh, apparently that was not a bad move, actually. As it happens. I can move back out and take some cover, or I can move further in and free some of the civvies up. But this is worrisome. Like you desperately need just to just leg it straight out that window and run. You've got so little chance of surviving. If I can kill everyone and stop anyone from getting closer to you, that would be ideal. There's someone in there. Who they are, I don't know. 